uh, despite people trying to steal it, steal the copyright and what have you. I'm just making this video to warn you of these laser jammer testers, or laser jammer destroyers as I call them, which are still sold by these bloody, especially the American salesmen, but they're sold in the UK and Australia as well I think. Here we have, as you see, a Phillips oscilloscope. This is this used to be from a, a firm in Manchester, UK, England, a Japanese firm that was involved in the early development of the X-ray machine. And uh, they're now involved in developing brand new ICs, chips, integrated circuits, call it what you will. I actually picked this up myself, uh, just swap, swapping over to uh, digital, so I got this nice old thing, because it suits me being a nice old thing. <laughs> right, so I'll dim my lights. Here we have two police guns, which I'll try and show you. I'll dim my lights so you can see it. The important thing to note here is this, obviously an oscilloscope can pick up virtually anything. Here we set on DC. This means it'll pick up DC signals, which is like your car battery or, or uh, I believe, Jura cell or what have you. And it'll pick up AC spike signals, like the laser guns fire. It's all they fire, we don't fire anything else. Um, the poly scans and what have you are very, very much the same. Even the even the dragon eye and what have you, but it's just the pattern's different. It's the same sort of signal. Sometimes higher or lower voltage, but the same basic signal. So I'll dim the lights. Uh, oh yes, and here you see here we have a photodiode, correctly biased. So I've already tested it; it's working fine. So I'll dim the lights. Now let's see. This is an old, um, an old marksman speed gun. Quite a powerful speed gun. More powerful than the modern ones, in fact. So let's have a look at the signal. Here we are. Uh, as we see, lovely. I've turned it up and dimmed the lights so you can see it clear. That's a lovely lead out signal. Very powerful, these. The modern guns aren't nearly as powerful. But uh, obviously, these used to run on the car battery or the bike battery with a flex, flexi cord. Um, here we have you know, a slightly more modern lead out gun. This is an ultralight. Uh, ultralight 125 hertz. So I'll try and there we go. And as we see, a, low, a lower voltage signal, lower voltage signal, but there's no DC at all. If this was showing DC, it would be showing it. So, but it's not obviously. Now, here, a uh, different kettle of fish here, boys and girls. Here we have one of these laser jammer testers, <laughs> so called testers, he says jokingly. So here we are, this will test uh, numerous signals, as you see, up to 13 in fact. I'll just put it on, um, what was a fairly quick one. I'll put it on number 5, which is a custom pro laser. Right, let's see what it does. Now bear in mind, if this is, if this is shooting out a nice full signal, like these, like these do, it will show you, show us. But as you will see, <laughs> it does not. Now, this is, uh, I'll put it on, I've moved guns, let's put it back on five. That's a nice fast uh, pro laser four, pro laser three. There we go, so on fire now. Now watch what happens, I'm here I'm, what, two feet away. I see we can see no, no pulse signal, so as we go closer and closer, closer, ooh, it's jumping up, it's jumping up, DC signal, there's no pulses there. Can you see any pulses there? None at all, no positive pulses. Sometimes you see a very weak pulse facing downwards, which is no good to a laser jammer, it won't even read it. So your laser jammer tester hasn't tested, you're thinking, well, have I bought a dud? You know, do we need to claim on a warranty? So you get closer and closer, and we still hasn't tested. I know, hold it right up, so I must be able to see it on the infrared camera. It must trigger then, so we will go, bang! There we go, whoa, straight up, straight up to 12 volts, battery voltage. There you go, see you look. And at this stage, this is when your MOSFETs go pop. And if it's a powerful laser, you usually hear the laser go pop. So there, as we say, so this is why they're so dangerous, these damn things. I mean, some of you guys will know, uh, seen my videos before, and they've all been took off, because these guys selling the ALPs, and the uh, Redenso XP, or whatever it is, and the Escorts, are the same people that are selling these shite, absolute shite. And like I say, I'll put it... and. We know this is a bigger box and slightly different to the ALP and the RB905, but it's it's the same it's the same bloody chip they use in all of them. Well, very similar chip, so it does exactly the same. This is actually going to trigger, try and trigger your jammer 
sort of gross crude IR inputs and as we know laser diodes they're very precision things they weren't invented in the bloody 60s 70s they're not fucking light bulbs so if you point these things at your jammers you people say oh it's because it's because it's it's because his jammers don't do anything he doesn't want you to test them that's why he's telling you this no no it's not i test every unit before it goes i know they work i know we transmit and i know the emits and also you guys would have seen the whiteout videos being stolen by that forum you know that forum yeah that forum full of pricks this is what all these testers do you're playing Russian roulette, you use one of them shitty little AL or whatever, all of the same, snooper, this is a snooper one, this is terrible, I think the others are exactly the same. You know, you're playing Russian roulette, but in your nice little, like, Tokarov or Colt revolver, you're putting like five shells in, not one. You're playing Russian roulette with five shells, because the chances, <laughs> the chances are you will destroy any maker jammer, even a $3,000, $3,500 dollar stinger. And they think, always, I've had a couple of smart ass saying, well, why don't jammers protect, jammer makers protect themselves? Well, they do. This will never, a lead our gun will never do what these do. Never, because there's no DC signal. Look, it's up for yourself. No DC signal. I can put it on AC. This is AC, so it'll only pick up AC. Look, AC. So, no DC, direct currents. But this friggin jammer testers all do this so if you use a jammer tester of any make of any model there's probably well it's almost a certainty it's at least 80 percent chance you're going to ruin your jammer and you still won't know if it was working properly when you got it and it's banned by all jammer makers have a look at my website the top of the page on the jammer section it actually says says i've got a, an excerpt from blinder warranty click on it yourself read it yourself and AOP are just the same. And when a jammer comes back to the manufacturers and it's got a blown MOSFET and blown laser, they're not stupid. They know how you've done it. So just don't use these things, guys. Please don't use them. I mean, I don't give a sh